Hey y'all, Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. I want to thank you for stopping in. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be starting a series on my duck boat. We're going to go over all of the trials and the triumphs that I've come across along the way. Let's get started. All right, let's start with the numbers. It's a 1648 Wichita flat bottom. It's old, it's beat to pieces, but, but it's my boat and it still works. So that's the one we're using. The motor here is a Mud Buddy Hyperdrive. Probably came with a Kohler. Uh, that's long since gone. It's, it's got a 670 Predator on it now. And we're gonna be addressing some of the more common issues that this motor has. It's got plenty of power, we just gotta we just got to coax it out of that motor. First off, this motor was designed to run wide open or at, a, at an idle. All of the mid-range throttle is just is a problem for the way that this motor's set up. So from the factory, if you're cruising along at an idle down the river and you see a log laying across and you need to get in it to, to you need to shower down on it to get your boat over that log, here's what happens. You're putting along, you see that log, you grab the throttle wide open and it farts and dies, falls flat on its face. We can't be having that. So what we start with is adjusting the carburetor. So let's get to it. All right, start by taking the air breather. Wait a minute, you're gonna watch this video and not subscribe? Come on, man, help me out. Hit subscribe. There's two bolts. This piece here coming out. See, there's a screw here and the screw here. See what I can see. All right. Now, when you get that loose, you got your fuel filter up under here. And then there's what looks like a vacuum line.
this is our predator. Right under these two caps, there's one here and one here are the mixture screws. There's one L and there's an R. I'm guessing for each bank. Um, I guess there's there for each bank. It's not a high low type of thing. So here we go. Busted the cap out of that one. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> big deal. Be careful knocking those covers out. Um, if you'll notice right there, I busted the, the I busted the mixture screw. Hope it hasn't affected totally. We're fixing to find out. I'm fixing to try to start it. If it did, it did. If it not, I'll have to order another one.
running through the logs in the river. Oh, there we go. We got to jump this log. Nope, didn't do a bit of good. <laughs> it actually got it better, but not.
what's going on. It's trying to die on the throttle. Yeah, we're just, we adjusted it and I think I just lost my fuel pump. <laughs> y'all last time we was out we smoked a fuel pump we got a new fuel pump on it now and all of the the carburetor tuning we did seems to make a difference um, it doesn't die when you give it fuel I mean it seems to want to idle um, <laughs> lied. <laughs> all right y'all all right y'all it does you can't just hammer the throttle, you have to ease into the throttle uh, with this stock carburetor. But the tuning did make quite a bit of difference. Uh, we'll give you a little little footage of it running and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get back to the house and see what's next.
All right, there's a few things we learned while we were going through this. Number one, we learned that to operate this motor on this boat, you have to be standing up. You can't, it's, it's just not gonna work to sit down and operate it. So I had to put a grab bar on. That's another video to come. Another thing we learned is that I probably am not just gonna leave this motor alone. I got some toys coming. Number three, there's definitely a learning curve to operating this motor on this boat. You got to practice on when to tilt, when to trim to get optimal per performance out of this motor. So with all these things in mind, we're gonna keep trudging along. And until next time, don't forget to shake the hand of a veteran, a police officer, a first responder. Tell them thanks. Tell them I said thanks. We'll see you around.